invocation of folks. Procol, O Procol esti profani, all lusty on Pader. In the name of the mighty and terrible one, I proclaim that I have banished the shells unto their habitation. I invoke Tahuti, the Lord of wisdom and of utterance, the God that cometh forth from the veil. O thou, majesty of the Godhead, wisdom crowned Tahuti, Lord of the gates of the universe, thee, thee I invoke. O thou of the ivy's head, thee, thee I invoke. Thou who wieldest the wand of double power, Thee, thee I invoke. Thou who bearest in thy left hand the rose and cross of light and life, thee, thee I invoke. Thou whose head is as an emerald and thy nemesis as the night sky blue, thee, thee I invoke. Thou whose skin is of flaming orange as though it burned in a furnace, thee, thee I invoke. Behold, I am yesterday, today, and the brother of tomorrow. I am born again and again. Mine is the unseen force whereof the gods are sprung, which is as life unto the dwellers in the watchtowers of the universe. I am the charioteer of the East, lord of the past and of the future. I see by mine own inward light Lord of resurrection who cometh forth from the dust, and my birth is from the house of death. O ye two divine hawks upon your pinnacles, who keep watch over the universe, ye who accompany the beer to the house of rest, who pilot the ship of wrong, ever advancing onwards the heights of heaven, Lord of the shrine which standeth in the center of the earth, Behold, he is in me, and I in him. Mine is the radiance wherein Ptah floats over the firmament. I travel upon high. I tread upon the firmament of new. I raise that flashing flame with the lightning of mine eye, ever rushing on in the splendor of the daily glorified Ra, giving my life to the dwellers of earth. If I say, Come up upon the mountain, the celestial waters shall flow at my word. For I am Ra incarnate, Kephra, created in the flesh. I am the Eidolon of my father Tamu, Lord of the city of the sun. The God who commands is in my mouth. The God of wisdom is in my heart. My tongue is the sanctuary of truth and a God sitteth upon my lips. My word is accomplished every day, and the desire of my heart realizes itself as that of the tower when he created his work. I am eternal, therefore all things are as my designs, therefore do all things obey my word. Therefore do thou come forth unto me from thine abode in the silence, unutterable wisdom, all light, all power. So, Hermes, Mercury, Odin, by whatever name I call thee, thou art still nameless to eternity. Come thou forth, I say, and aid and guard me in this work of art. Thou star of the east, that didst conduct the Magi. Thou art the same, all present in heaven and in hell. Thou that vibratest between the light and the darkness, rising, descending, changing ever, yet ever the same. The sun is thy father, thy mother the moon. The wind hath borne thee in its bosom, and earth has ever nourished the changeless godhead of thy youth. Come thou forth, I say, come thou forth, and make all spirits subject unto me, so that every spirit of the firmament and of the ether, upon the earth and under the earth, 
on dry land and in the water, of roaring air and of rushing fire, and every spell and scourge of God the vast one may be obedient unto me.